Hello and welcome to Top 5 Friday. I'm your host Tim Kant and I've been degraded many, many times and I've also had my bits crushed on an unrelated topic. This time we're looking at the Top 5 Lo-Fi plugins so without further ado let's count those bad boys down. Do wop, it's that thing at 5. I can feel it in my fingers, it's texture at 4. You don't have to set your clothes off for vinyl strip at 3. Isotope's Vinyl Solution is a 2, and RC20 Retro Color brightens things up at the top spot. At 5, That Thing by BeatSkills. This thing is a plugin called That Thing, which is a collaboration between BeatSkills and Audio Thing. This lo-fi processor aims to recreate the sound of classic gear as a multi-effect, with lots of peculiar and idiosyncratic effects to choose from. In that thing you get a choice of analog model chorus effects plus vinyl tape and tube recreation to fatten up and give character to individual tracks or buses. There's also bit crushing controls to ape classic sampler technology and perhaps most interestingly a selection of nature sounds to add real world ambiences like city sounds, forest sounds and loads more. That thing, that thing, that thing. I like plugins like That Thing by BeatSkills because it's simple enough. I'm going to show you basically everything in the plugin in one go. So let's give it a go. I'm going to bypass it and play you our demo audio, which is just a conga loop. How nice and jaunty. Now let's hear what happens when we turn the effect on. Weirdness. Sounds like some kind of flexitone, I guess. Um, so what's happening here is there's some kind of envelope follow going in on the plugin. So when the audio plays, the noise sample is let through. And there's a whole bunch of stuff. Let's listen to some different sounds. Oh, gotta love a bit of Hass effect. And we can do stuff like tune these sounds around adjust the level, turn it on and off, even oh, do a bit of bit crushing there. Also, we have a really lovely built-in chorus effect, which I will turn, I'll turn up the frequency and depth to make it a bit more obvious. Ooh, plinky plonky. Oh, it's great. And that works very well on musical material as well, as you'd have heard in the demo. Also, there's a filter. I'm going to stop it there because this filter I don't know, it's kind of interesting, man. It's got its own sort of, sort of, it's got a real kind of like subtle feel to it. So let's try the low cuts. Ooh, disappearing into the ether there. And let's try the high cut. There we go. That's basically it. And there's an absolute ton of presets, including a, a, you've got your regular factory bank and a dark Atmos bank. So let's have some dark atmospheres. All the glitters is not. Oh, trippy. So yeah. If you've got weirdness missing for your life, that thing is the place to find it. At 4, Texture by Devious Machines. A bit like a sampler triggered by an envelope follower, Texture layers new sounds over your existing audio material. You can load your own samples into Texture, but its library of over 300 sounds includes some great material for creating instant lo-fi effects. These include sampled vinyl, ambiences, crowds, water and mechanical sounds, plus loads of noise textures from classic gear. You can also modulate parameters using an envelope and LFO, balance and customize the sounds of the original audio and the new layer, and EQ both layers as well. Texture is a weird little plugin, and it works a bit like having some kind of like an effect sample that you have on a track and it's got a gate on it and that is sidechain triggered from another track. So for example, every time your kick track plays, you hear a little bit of noise over the top of it, or whatever your texture is, as the kick opens the gate up. That's a little bit confusing for you. I, I apologize, but also, hey, don't worry about it because I'm going to demonstrate what it does right now. So I have a hip hop loop here. Let's take a listen to it. The plugins turned off, so we're just going to hear the straight dry loop. Oh, 
Okay, very straightforward. Now we're gonna turn the plug-in on. Note that it is in digital white noise mode. So we're gonna hear a little bit of digital white noise over the top of our beats. So there you go. So when the beat plays, it's letting more of the digital noise come through. And you can do stuff like changing the gate and limit controls to determine when that noise comes through. So let's have a play with those and listen back. So you're just getting a real little bit when the gate's turned up. We'll turn the limit down. getting a, quite a lot of low level noise there with the limit turned down. And there's plenty of other stuff you can do. I am gonna change the noise now though to a different sound. There's tons of stuff in here, but I really like the vinyl stuff. I mean, it really does seem like the ideal sort of sound for this sort of effect. So let's have a listen. Oh yeah, works great. Let's try a few different variations. You can control various parameters of these. some really weird sounds and you can filter that. Turn the side chain on, it would help if I turned it on. So that's choosing the frequencies of the original signal that activate the ting. Also, let's have a bit of a play with the envelope. I mean, there is a bunch of other stuff here. Like we mentioned the EQ's modulation. Let's have a play with the envelope, which is I find the most interesting. So yeah, that's a bit of an extreme example, but it should give you a bit of an idea of what this plugin is capable of. And my goodness, there are a lot of source sounds in there. The three vinyl strip by Audio Thing. We've seen Audio Thing tech come up already, but the company's own label lo-fi effects is a bit different. There are six modules of a lo-fi effects made up of compression, distortion, reverb, EQ, vinyl, sampler, and a master panel. Those six effects are reorderable, so you can run them in whatever order you choose, as well as switching them on and off at will. The distortion of vinyl and sampler modules are the most obvious effects for sending your sounds back in time, but the classic compressor, tilt style EQ, and old school reverb shouldn't be overlooked either. The vinyl panel with its noise, wow, dust, record age, and stereo width parameters is naturally vinyl strip's most fully featured processor. Okay, let's take a vinyl strip through its paces by using it to make this little instrumental hip hop loop. We've got sound to, as much as we can like a golden age hip hop tune. Okay, so let's, we've got all of these sections turned off here, by the way. So let's listen to this loop essentially dry. You get the idea. I mean, there's a little bit of uh, noise and grit in there, but we can really pump that up. So let's start off with the vinyl. I'll tell you what, we'll slide that to the start of the chain. Why not? So let's turn that on. Ooh, let's turn up the dust. And let's turn up the rate of it as well. Let's go for some vintage vibes. Maybe a bit more noise. Oh, that's nice. I'm not too bothered about wow and stereo stuff because I don't really want it to sound knackered. Okay, let's go for a bit of a sampler next. We'll turn down the uh, bit depth. Let's go for like 12. I don't want to go crazy, guys. And uh, we'll turn down the sample rate as well. And this is where stuff already starts to sound. A bit like an SP-1200 or whatever. Oh, there we go. You can hear that alias in coming in. Okay, now let's compress it. Dare we add distortion? I think we better had. 
Oh yeah. Well, that's a little bit much. What's interesting here is you've got a knob for odd and even harmonics. So let's see what that does. No, no, no. Even is too much for Timmy. Let's keep it odd. Let's put a tiny bit of reverb in there. Why not? We got it. Maybe darken it a bit. And then finally we'll have a little bit of EQ to see if that does anything for us. Oh yeah. Okay, so this example, as you can hear from the massive amounts of noise when we stop the audio, I'll turn that off. I haven't really been very subtle here, but let's just have a uh, uh, listen to it with without the effects. You can just hear what it's capable of. So there you go, oh lordy, there you go. A very, very capable and powerful effect from your boys audio thing. A two vinyl by Isotope. This classic effect is actually free, giving you separate faders for vinyl style properties like mechanical noise, wear, electrical noise, dust, scratches, and warp. Already that's pretty comprehensive, especially for a free plugin, but vinyl's mono stereo switch, decade selector, RPM choice, and its spin down button, which emulates a turntable sliding to a stop, along with the associated sonics, makes this one of the most fully featured vinyl emulations out there. Vinyl may not be the newest plugin out there, but hey, that's not why we put lo-fi sounds in our tunes. Would you believe that Isotope Vinyl is a whopping 18 years old? Um, so it would be legal to make love to it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you a couple of little thingies that it's still very much useful for. So I've got a little bit of a loop going on here basically in fact i tell you what i'll prove that everything is bypassed it by bypassing it let's have a listen to our little jungle loop we've got going on okay we'll turn the plug-in on it's not doing anything yet now what i find vinyl particularly useful for is kind of mellowing out either the top end or the bottom end of the sound so, if we want to mellow out the top end, we can use the wear parameter. So it's a bit like using an EQ or a filter, but it sounds a little bit more natural. And what if you want to mellow out the bottom end? Well, we can use the year knob here which kind of shows the plugin's age because it just goes up to 2000. Um, so let's hear what that does. We're going back in time. Oh, oh, listen to how thin it's getting. Oh, there we go. I was thinner in the 80s as well. And there's a bunch more stuff you could do with it as well. I mean, those, those two things are my faves. There's a bunch of other stuff you could do, including something that a lot of people like, which is a spin down effect, which, you know, people are very keen to find. But you can get it in vinyl for free, guys. Let's check it out. Nice, beautiful. Let's play with the other stuff while we're here. Mechanical noise. Oh, Lordy. We've looked at where, let's have some electrical noise. Oh, awful. Uh, dusts, turn up the amount. Crickle, crackle, crickle, crackle. We'll have some scratches. These are gonna be unpleasant. Oh God, no, no. Why would you want it? Let's have some warp depth. Oh. Pitching around, and you can choose a warp model as well. Just to make it a bit wonky. And you've got also got an RPM selector as well which has some kind of subtle effects on the sound. Let's combine that with the year control. Yeah, I mean, once you get down here, it's so knackered that the RPM doesn't make too much difference. So there you go, fam, Isotope Vinyl. Still free, still very much worth a download. And at number one, it's RC20 Retro Color by XLN Audio. 
This one takes the form of another lo-fi strip, but when it comes to making your sound sound worse, this could be the best sounding plug-in out there. The noise panel emulates vinyl tape and tons more. The wobble takes on wow and flutter. Distort models your tubes and various other things. Digital takes on bit depth and sample rate. Space adds reverb. And magnetic simulates recording to tape with dropout, wear and flutter. Operating alongside these modules, the Flux engine makes these old school processes even more unstable, pushing things in and out of time with a slider for each module to control how much each effect gets freaked out by it. RC20 Retrocolor is an absolutely fantastic plugin. It does some great vinyl emulation, but we've already seen uh, there are a bunch of plugins that do good vinyl stuff. What it does that not a lot of pl other plugins do is tape emulation. So let's have a bit of a play with that. So I've got a bit of a beat here. Let's try and make it sound a bit like a knackered old school mixtape. So we're gonna turn the magnetic section on. Let's turn it up. So we're getting a bit of wear and flutter there. That effect is happening in stereo that you'll be able to tell quite obviously if you're listening on headphones. We can put that effect in mono. So it's, you know, not affecting both sides of the tape. I don't know how tape works, whatever. Um, so there's entirely where. Let's turn the effect up to full so you can hear it. Ooh. And then there's ooh, all fluttery. And we can change the rate. Let's set that back to the middle. Now what I really like is the dropout thing, which is for me what makes it really sound like an old tape. There you go. And if, you know, analog mediums by their nature are kind of all over the shop. So let's set up some flux. Which kind of randomizes stuff a bit. That's cool. Let's add a little bit of distortion while we're here to see if we can get that really crunched up sound. That's a bit much. Oh, here we go. Crunch. Turn that rate down a bit. Maybe change the focus a little. Crunch up that high end. And hey, let's add some noise. We've got the opportunity. Let's do it. Various tape speeds. Oh, there we go. And then we can swap between our knackered signal and the pristine original with the magnitude, which acts basically like a wet dry. You can see the various knobs here changing their amounts. So there you go, it's the king of the retro heap, guys. What a corker. Well, that was kind of dirty and kind of noisy, just how I like it. If you enjoyed that lo-fi fun, then why not join us again for another Top 5 Friday coming real soon. See you later.